Buffalo Thunder needs a new home. Live on WT's campus is News One's Sabrina Meck. Thank you, Marty. This week we took a look at the plans for the new habitat for WT's mascot, Thunder the Buffalo. Here outside the Stanley Schaefer Agriculture Building, the herdsmen care for WT's beloved mascot, Thunder. However, due to the disapproval of the USDA, new facilities are in need. The pens he has now, they're just, uh, I guess you'd say they're just not uh, what we need at the moment. They're not fundamentally effective. What it means for Thunder is that he will have a permanent home in which he'll be able to thrive naturally within his own environment. In which we'll, we will, as the group, will be able, in, able to interact with him. Richard Mitchell, the treasurer of the Herdsman, talks about what this project entails and what exactly it's worth to not only Thunder, but the Herdsman and the students as well. Well, it's going to be um, a better facility. We're able to work him better in a more proper area for a buffalo. He's going to have more space for to roam around and graze naturally as a buffalo should. And it's going to be a big step forward um, to getting a foothold that should represent the school as the mascot should represent the school. As a symbol for the students, um, it represents the school, I think, really and truly. It, we are the buffaloes. It's who we are and who the school is. The project is estimated to be finished this fall of 2012, where 15 acres will be dedicated to Thunder and his facilities. We're here with Ryan Holscher, who is a herdsman here at WT, and he helps take care of Thunder. Thank you so much for joining us, Ryan. We really appreciate it. Oh, not a problem. Could you tell us a little bit about what your experience has been as a herdsman, as well as what this new habitat is going to be like for Thunder? Well, as far as being a herdsman, it's probably one of the greatest experiences you can have here on the WT campus because you get to take care of the spirit of WT, which of course is our buffalo, Thunder X or Thunder 10. And as far as the new habitat goes, we're really looking forward to it because it'll provide a much bigger arena for him to just roam around in, as well as state-of-the-art round pen and facilities. And as far as the facilities go, to have a big open area just in case we need to bring him in to get him out of the harsh elements as well as an area for us to store our trailer and feed, as well as a place for us to hang out. Okay, well, it sounds like it's going to be great. We look forward to seeing it. So thank you so much for joining us. Live here at WT for News 1, this is Sabrina Meck.